you ever struggle with scripture sometimes? Wondering how you're supposed to use it in your prayer life and what it means. Our scripture today, continuing our journey through the Sermon on the Mount, as we approach the end, have some passages that are difficult. Because they don't line up neatly with our understanding of who we want Jesus to be. So today's is from Matthew 7, 13 through 14. Enter through the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the road is easy that leads to destruction, and there are many who take it. For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life, and there are few who find it. So I invite you to close your eyes, take in some deep breaths, let the tension out of your shoulder and neck. And just breathe in. And let those words sit with you for a moment. The road leads to life. God, you talk to us about easy and hard today. You say the easy path is wide and open and you can just jump up on that road and take off. But that road, that road it is easy and simple and accessible and right there in front of us is not the road that leads us to you. We are faced with choices, God. Help us to choose your way. Not the easy way, but your way. So when we struggle with how to make decisions, guide us to the path that leads us to you. Guide us to the path that leads us to you, whether it is down a long open road or whether it's through a small narrow gate. Guide us on the path that leads us to you. But God, sometimes it is so hard to follow you. How do we know when it's the right direction to take? When we think about the things that are going on in the world right now, where it doesn't seem like there's an easy answer, so even the hard answers, we struggle with which way you would lead us. As we've been surrounded by news of countries working together, we realize that those seven countries, those European nations, are leaving out an entire world full of people. They chose a narrow way, but their narrow way excludes so many that have concerns and issues that don't even cross those leaders' minds. So show them that that path that they are on, that path that they are on leads to destruction. It leads to death, the death of the people that they aren't even considering. Holy God, guide us, direct us, show us through that narrow gate onto the road that leads to life. God, we lift up to you the people and places we know that are struggling today. We lift up Mongolia and Argentina, Colombia and Costa Rica, Paraguay, Suriname, in Uruguay. They are having outbreaks of COVID that are that are not easily controlled. 
and vaccines are so far off. And oh God, we ask you to be with the people of Rockton, the Rockford area, as they struggle with that massive explosion in the air quality. We ask you to be with the firefighters and first responders who have been working hard to put that explosion and fire out. And we ask you to be with the people suffering through drought right now. With this climate change, it means that this drought is hotter and harder. And so God, we ask you to show the people that can make a difference the people who can change the road we are on to destruction. Show them the path, the road that leads to life. Guide them to make changes. And oh God, we lift up to you the people on our hearts right now. We have friends and family who are grieving. We have friends and family who are sick. We have friends and family who are coping with addiction and loss and we ask that you surround them with your loving, strengthening arms that you can show them the road that leads to life. And God, we ask you to be with our families that are celebrating, celebrating the new life that is about to be born, celebrating the new marriages that are about to take place. celebrating summer with vacations and trips and fun. Be with our family and friends. Surround them with your love. Show them the path that leads to life. Amen. <laughs>